Welcome back here, Total Pole Nation. It's Thursday, June the 8th. Coach Taylor, how are we feeling today, Coach? Hey, man, I'm just pumped up. I'm psyched up. You know, Bob Pruitt, sorry about the audio. We had Randy Moss's coach on, Chad Pennington's coach, Doug Chapman's coach, Byron Leftwich's, Leftwich's coach, and it was echoing. I had the video going through his phone, and I was talking to him through his wife's phone, and I think I didn't have it muted on the phone where we were getting the video, so his voice was echoing through. Um, but it just comes – it sounds like to me it comes out he's real low. But excellent, excellent podcast, Bob Pruitt. Now we're on to Tom Lemming. Tom Lemming was a mailman that became a recruiting guru after finding Dan Marino. Wow. He thought Dan Marino was pretty good. The only people that didn't think Dan Marino was going to be good was the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Coach Bald. You know Tom Lemming. He's been around forever. He's going to be on today with us. Totem Pole Nation. Iron Sheik, Coach. Yesterday, Iron Sheik hadn't passed away when we did the show. So what do you have to say about the passing of the Sheik? Yeah, that was, I tell you, it was a great, uh, great podcast that you had uh, with uh, with Johnny Bottles, man. He just uh, he just set you in the room, man. And you're a historian and the way he broke it down and broke down the legacy and the come up and everything. It was historical, man. It was great. Uh, I loved every minute of it. The stories, the storytelling. Uh, it was phenomenal, man. I love the impact that those guys are going to have with us. Uh, yeah, one of the things I remember the most about the Sheik, and that was through watching one of the documentaries, was I believe it was when I was watching the Ultimate Warrior documentary that, you know, they were saying that nobody could talk to him, Vince couldn't talk to him, and that at one time that they were talking about getting the Iron Sheik to physically break the Ultimate Warrior's leg. And that right there just tells you how bad of an ass that dude was, the Iron Sheik. Uh, he's one of one, man. He is one of one, you know, uh, arguably one of the, uh, you know, arguably one of the biggest heels of all time. Uh, it was interesting to find out, too, from Johnny. I never knew that, that he originally started off as a baby face, you know, and that's why we're doing these podcasts to uh, – to learn you guys, we're gonna learn y'all. We're gonna let y'all know what we know, and uh, yeah, man, it was uh, it was a phenomenon. But yeah, man, it was uh, it was a sad day. But you know, I think after that podcast, Shiki Baby was probably uh, smiling down at us because it was the ultimate respect uh, that that we were showing and whatnot. So uh, so yeah, good stuff. And uh, yeah, man, I'm definitely I'm I'm looking forward to the uh, the it's it's starting at noon. Is that correct, Coach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, and he play, he has to have a pipeline down here in the state of Florida. I would have to say he, he knows this area very well, and he should know some of the local guys over here, uh, the local talent over here in the uh, south side of St. Petersburg. It is a hotbed of talent down here uh, for sure. But, yeah, phenomenal podcast. I look forward to uh, the SCM uh, representing – Total Pole Nation and just doing that thing, man. Those guys, we're just going to give them the ball and let them run with it because they they know what they they know what they bring to the table. And it was uh, it was beautiful, beautiful thing to watch yesterday, Coach. It was a beautiful thing to watch. And speaking of beautiful things to watch this weekend, guys, make sure you are dialed in. Make sure you're dialed in uh, because we have my man, the Cyborg. The Cyborg is fighting. Saturday night, we are having a watch party here in St. Petersburg, so I am thrilled about that. It's not at my house. It's at a uh, really good friend, my friend B.A. We're, we're going to be at his house having a good time with it. And I really look forward to this one specifically because uh, he's going up against a monster of a man, another guy that is 6'4", 6'5", 265 pounds, you know, right there at that heavyweight limit. So, going to be interesting uh you know he's been dealing with guys 
not as big as him. So it's going to be interesting to see how he goes against this guy. I have a lot of confidence in him, man. He is he is such a quick, quick individual. Uh, you shouldn't be that big and that quick at that size. You know what I mean? You can see his athleticism uh, from, from the football standpoint stretch out into the octagon. So I am uh, super fired up about that, Coach. What are you uh, – are you going to be able to watch it, or are you going to be watching my feed to watch the fight? I'm going to be watching you. Well, I'm going to be watching the feed that's watching you. Yeah. Watching the feed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Because man. you have the life of Riley. You live a life similar to Ric Flair. He is the president of Totem Pole Nation. Dave Portnoy envies Coach Ball. Coach Ball, NBA Finals. It was one and one. Did you watch the game last night? Yeah, I did watch it. And, you know, I just I don't understand why the Heat are not attacking the paint more. You know, uh, the, the thing with the Joker, he is a big giant of a man, but he is not the quickest guy. He is not um, a guy that's going to beat you with uh, – sheer athleticism man keep pounding the ball in there go at him get that guy in foul trouble because he is a menace while he is out on that court the heat are in a way better position when the joker is on the sidelines get that guy in foul trouble get it in the paint you know that 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 would be my advice man i mean him and murray i mean what a duo i think they broke a record last night uh because both had another 30 point 10 dime game i mean that is something else man those two uh very underrated combo right there very underrated combo and yeah man they're doing their thing to come in here and, and take one from miami you know that that's a uh that is a big deal i thought it would uh i thought it would go miami's way but uh but yeah man it was uh it, it was all them and they really pulled away uh going into that fourth quarter I mean, went up almost 20 points. So, yeah, that was a bad, bad beatdown. And uh, you, you you saw all the talent in the crowd, man. That was uh, that's the place to be at right there in Florida right now is uh, at a Miami Heat game. You know, it's kind of like when Brady was here at the Bucks. Those sidelines was the place to be when you're in Florida. But, uh, but yeah, Coach uh, – so what all else do you have going on? I know you got Tom coming in. Uh, you guys getting after it today in the weight room? Yeah, we're working out here in a little bit. And then, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to relax. We're going to get geared up, probably do some more podcasts. Looking forward to Mr. Lucky. Looking forward to what has occurred in the life of Lucky this week. We're going to have to get Mr. Lucky back on, see if he's done any crazy stuff. Uh, but, man, I'm telling you, I am so fired up about what we got going on here at Total Pole Nation. Now, have you heard from the Madness, Coach? I believe Madness has some friends and family in town. So uh, he's going to be, uh, you know, that's the thing. When you got people come to see you from out of town, it's kind of a big deal here. You want to show them around. You want to show them your favorite places. Hopefully he doesn't do that. He hopefully doesn't, he doesn't take his family to his favorite places. Hopefully he goes to some nice places. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, uh, as far as I know, everything's going, going well with them. Uh, he, he is on a, a, a tighter regiment with his working out and his meditation and stuff like that. So uh, he's getting that dialed in and uh, hopefully he can, he can continue doing that, you know, uh, with the distractions, with the family coming in, but that's the time, man, when the family's in town, man, hang with the family, hang with the family. You can, you know, you can do everything else when they go back out of town, when they're here, man, embrace them, enjoy them because that's what it's all about. And I want to give a big shout out to, to my nephew, Jamie Anderson, Turns 18 years old today, graduated uh, from Atley High School as well. So big shout out to my main man. Uh, the guy's got a bright future, man. The guy's got a bright future. He lives in the gym. Uh, he's a hard worker. He's old school. He's old school like us, Coach. You would uh, you would love to have that guy uh, be be affiliated with uh, with anything you got going on. 
Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, man, super fired up about him. And another big shout out birthday. Uh, our buddy, former Monacan legend, Scott Bernstein. Scott Bernstein's birthday is today. So huge Thanks. shout out to uh, to Bundy, Bernie, Bernie Mac. And coach, that you mentioned Scott's name. I did hear back from Scott the intern. Scott the intern who just graduated from BCU with the business degree. I mean, what? He worked for us for a day. The guy is headed up to interview with Barstool. Scott the <laughs> intern has gone from one day being the intern for Total Pole Nation to now he has an interview with Barstool. So we will be following Scott the intern as he interviews with Barstool. Now, I I don't fault the guy. Barstool was a multi-million dollar company. We're the low man on the totem pole. He was getting paid nothing. Uh, so, you know, good luck to him. But, you know, Scott, if you don't get the job, you know, we will take you back. Because you are an intern, you're getting paid nothing. Coach, any updates on our St. Petersburg intern, yeah. Howard? Howard the intern. Right, yeah. He's supposed to link up uh, this weekend for that watch party. So I'm looking forward to that. That way, you know, I can just enjoy the fight, enjoy the scenery, enjoy all the friends and the family that are going to be there rooting on the cyborg, man. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If you guys don't know who the cyborg is, man, it ain't hard to find out. He's been on Totem Pole Nation. We've done multiple podcasts with him. He was a gentleman I coached over 10 years ago at Lakewood High School. He was our tight end, uh, but the guy is just a freak back then, man. We could have put that guy at any position on the field, and he could have dominated, man. He could have played tailback, but, yeah, he was our how he was our tight end. He was a hybrid like a Gronkowski. Uh, back then, he was probably rolling around about 6'3", 6'4", probably 230, 240. But uh, now, you know, now it's 10 years later, so he's got some grown man weight on him. So, yeah, he's right at that 265 mark. Uh, but he still he 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 moves around like a Walter like a Walter weight. You know what I mean? His kicks, his elbows. He is a lethal, lethal man, and he is driven by a lot of demons. He grew up in the worst part of the worst over here in South St. Petersburg. So you know, I respect the hell out of him being from Park Lee, and now being where I'm at right now, I see nothing but the sky is the limit for this guy, and I am fired up about him. And yeah, man, we did a promo. I sent him the promo yesterday. Holy cow, Coach, I was just, oof, man, it's got me so so fired up. I just started hitting the squat rack right away afterwards, man. I was just feeling so good. You just had that, when you got that juice in you, you got to let it out. You know, you got to let it out. What better place to do it than in the weight room? You know, if you guys are not feeling good, you're not feeling right, go for a run. Go for a good sweat. Sweat your tail off, and I guarantee you, you're not going to be thinking about whatever it was that was weighting you down. You know, that's what it's about. It's about turning that negative energy, getting it released in a positive, positive way. You know what I'm saying? Hey, keep me in the loop. I know what you're saying, Coach. Keep me in the loop. Keep me in the loop, you know, and that's the uh, that's kind of the life lesson of the day. You know, keep me in the loop. You know, it's very rare these days that people truly care about you. So if I'm texting you and you ain't heard from me in a while, well, guess what? That means I care. That means I'm thinking about you, okay? So if I don't hear back from you for a very, very long time, well, guess what? I'm a very busy man. I'm not going to focus my good energy on somebody that is too busy for it, okay? I got way too much stuff to do. I got way too many people that want to be influenced that want to get on the path, that want to get right. So that's all I'm saying. Keep me in the loop. You could just say, hey, all is good, you know, or how you doing or anything like that. You know what I mean? But I think that's uh, that that's very important. And a lot of people I don't talk to often, you know, I will. I'll. It's usually it's usually three things I ask them, coach. And that is, you know, are you good? You know, that's usually the first one. And then the second one 
is are you okay you know because there's a difference and then the third is is there anything i can help you with is there anything you need me to talk to you about and it, it don't have to be about sports it could be about work it can be about your love life it don't matter you know what i mean but keep me in the loop I don't think people understand the presence that they have with Coach Ball. Coach Ball is a modern-day Napoleon Hill, a modern-day Andrew Carnegie. He is like a younger version of Tony Robbins. Right? Tony Robbins, E.T., Eric Thomas, the hip-hop preacher, Inky Johnson. That's what you have in Coach Ball. That's the positivity and the energy that he brings every day to the Life Lessons podcast. Now, me, I'm a little off the, 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 the rails. All right, I'm a little off the rails. Coach Ball, you got to get you to the light sometime. Yeah, Go to the light, you. Coach. And yesterday, I know it was a sabotage. <laughs> All right. The APAs, or whatever they're called, the UFOs, UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Now, we all have to be politically correct. And now, Coach, their names are the air, uh, unidentified, <laughs> yeah, UFOs, unidentified aerial phenomenon, or whatever it is. Chance Foster, yeah, Coach, you got to laugh. They came in and they tried to sabotage my Bob Pruitt uh, podcast. Chance Fawcett, morning, gents. Chance, I tuned into the recruiting seminar. And anybody that has not been a part of it, check it out. Chance, I want you to uh, send a tweet out. Tag Totem Pole Nation. Tag Coach Troy Taylor. Tag Coach Bald you know, with the Twitter space. And we're going to retweet it. And, man, when I went on the Twitter space, Coach Nick Garrett said, we have a special guest, the world-famous Troy Taylor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love it. The infamous. What did you think? I, <clears throat> I loved it. I loved it, Chance. They had the running back coach from ETSU. And if anybody doesn't know, that's East Tennessee State University in Johnson City, Tennessee. It's a long place from nowhere. Headed south on 95. I think that's a Travis Trick song. Something about Johnson City. I spent a week in Johnson City one night. They play mm -hmm. in a mini dome, or they used to. So I'm glad that I got to listen to those guys. That was so informative, Coach. I recommend every high school coach, parent, and player to take a part in that recruiting space. What advice would you give to the young men out there, Coach, that want to succeed in football? Yeah, I mean, well, first off, you know, you got to be there for your off-season workouts. You know, get on whatever your team's regimen is. That's the most important thing. But it's the things you do when the spotlight is not on you and not, and when you're not around your buddies and your friends and stuff like that. And that's the uh, extra working out, film work, uh, and just uh, gaining knowledge, man, gaining knowledge. You know, uh, you know, you mentioned all those amazing people, the Tony Robbins, the E.T., all those guys. Uh, I listen to that stuff consistently. And when you listen to it all the time, you know, they say for if there is if there is one hobby that you have for one hour a day and you do it every single day for five years, you end up being a master in that pretty much. So mm. if I listen to something that is, you know, positive influence for one hour a day that you know over that period of time i'm gonna know a lot about it it's gonna be something that i bring i bring to bed with me when i go to sleep and i wake up you know and pour it in my coffee you know it's something how many I'm years eat. man i've been listening years. i've been listening to stuff since probably about uh about oh, close to 10 years now yeah close to 10 years yeah i used to go every single morning to work you know i would i would uh 
when I worked in Tampa, I would leave my house at 4 a.m. every morning and a 40 minute ride to work. That's all I would do. I'd have my earbuds in and I'd be listening to Tony Robbins. I'd be listening to Jocko Willink. I'd be listening Ooh. to David Goggins. I'd be listening to Joe Rogan. I'd be listening to guys that are influencing me to uh, keep going, keep striving. You know what I mean? What your goals are might not be there, but maybe it's it, it just might be in the mail. You know, it just might be in the mail. And you know what that means? It means it's on the way. And, uh, coach, and, you yeah, want to that, shout out our sponsors, Coach? Definitely. Cultivate Wellness. Check them out there. They're all over the place in the Richmond, Virginia area. Hopefully soon getting down here to Florida. Uh, check them out. Check out the website. They've got the topicals, chews, a little bit of everything. they got things for your animals. Your animals are having anxiety. They will they will make them calm, and, and, and they'll be good, good dogs and everything. And, uh, and also a big shout out to St. Pete Rejuvenate, log on right now, and you can get that free IV hydration therapy, which is great this time of year. You're getting into the summertime. You know, there's barbecues, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, but check us out. Ketamine infusions, the Botox, the Brotox, the fillers, the facials. We got it. We got all ends covered. But, uh, yeah, big shout out to Totem Pole Nation. Totem Pole Nation, keep me in the loop. Follow us, like us. Uh, if you have any interaction, you want any interaction, man, just find us. We're on Twitter. We're easy to find. We're on Facebook, Instagram. We're all over the place. So, uh, yeah, it's easy to find us. I'm at Coach Bald. You got at Coach Taylor, Coach Troy Taylor right there. Uh, we're here for you guys. Any last thoughts, Coach? I just thank you, Total Pole Nation. Y'all the best. Yep. All right, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. Ba -ba -ba -ba